YouTube, what's going on, baby? We back trucking with Kev. We in the Bronx. We in the hood, actually. <laughs> Over there is Monterey. Know what I mean? But just a little update. Talk about what I want to do for 2019 and my goals while in the trucking industry. Number one, I got to make more bread. I'm getting 32 cents per mile right now at the company that I'm currently at. And I'm about to make some power moves where I'm gonna be working for an owner operator at a mega carrier and I'll be making a little bit more money. Um, he has his own following on YouTube. So when that time comes, we gonna make that switch, we gonna make that link and we just gonna stay out, stay out on that road. About a month, month and a half, get that bread. That's number one. Number two, definitely gonna start my own company, Afro Logistics. I would like to start it sooner than later within the next year or two. <clears throat> I'm saying I'm going to be the first YouTube entrepreneur trucker to take the industry by surprise. I have an idea that hasn't been done yet, or at least I haven't seen it done yet, especially on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that in a couple of years. Number three, I just want to make a lot more money, man. This year I want to make it in between as a rookie too, I only got four months of experience. But after I make this move and mess with this owner operator, shout out to him, um, I wanna make anywhere between, bare minimum, at least 50K. At least 50, at least 50 racks, you know what I'm saying? That'll put me in a nice little spot so that that way I could take over for 2020. 2020, I'm gonna be yada, 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 traveling here and there, doing what I do, and y'all gonna watch me grow, man. It's about the mindset. <clears throat> Can't have no, I don't want to say regular, but you can't, I just don't think mediocre. If you're going to get into trucking, if, even if you don't want to become an owner operator, man, and you want to stay company, my suggestion is just figure out the best way to make the most money, stack your bread, and also manage the money that you make. Because sometimes it's not even about making a lot of money, because somebody can make a lot of money and spend most of their earnings and have little to none saved. Versus the person who didn't make as much, but they save majority of it and they spend a little bit. You feel me? It's about that millionaire next door mindset. And trucking is a lucrative opportunity to take advantage of projects, Monterey houses. I used to work there. But you know, but nah, man. We out here in the Bronx, headed back up. You know, jump back on the road real soon. Just enjoying some home time. But, um, also, the professional camera is on its way. Oh my goodness, I keep saying that stuff, but it's like every time I go try to, you know, obtain that, something else happens, like blah, blah, blah. It's like my blessings is being blocked at the, at the moment, but it's gonna come. It's definitely gonna come. So the professional camera is on its way. Um, this year, at least 50 to 60K. 